You are way too relaxed. Always reading your newspaper so peacefully. Yes, and tell me, what's the problem with that? Kushan is coming back. So what if Kushan is coming back today? Don't you remember that you promised you would buy him a car when he came back this time? Tell me, do you remember that? Yes, and I will stick to my promise, so don't you worry. Now will you please stop carrying on about it? Listen! Oh, looks like she's also here. She'll start complaining. I don't complain often, now do I? No. I know. You know, I was only gone for a few days, and everything has gone absolutely haywire. I can't find anything. Shweta, everything's where you left it. No, no. Yes, it is. Come with me. Kushan will come and ask me for the dessert. Vera? Vera, I know it's, it's very easy to say, but just forget about everything by imagining it was just a scary dream. Vera, he's probably not even bothered by any of this. He might have forgotten everything. Why... Why are you hurting yourself like this? Vera, you can start a fresh life. Please. Mother? Namaste. Namaste, Chewie. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Can I talk to Vera, please? Uh, one minute, Auntie. Auntie, I want to talk to you. It's important. Pevan? Pevan? Morning. Good morning. You're quite early. I'm not. Everyone has left the house and have gone to work already, and you are still here. Oh, so you spoke to father? Yes. Your parents, they are quite worried about you, Vivan. Mega, please. It's a, it's a beautiful morning. No lectures today, okay? Vivan, I am not here to lecture you, understand? Actually, as a good friend of yours, I'd really like to tell you something. You have your entire life to spend with Vera. I know Vivan, and Vera is a very sensible girl and she would want you to be independent. Wait a minute, wait a minute, hold your horses. Who are you talking about? Vera? Yes, you love her, don't you? What's wrong with you, Mega? Are you crazy? Did you really think that I wanted to spend my entire life together with Vera? That, that, that story is over, Mega. It's over long ago. Vivan, how is that possible? Did Vera reject you? Hey, hey, hey. No girl is ever able to reject me. I am Vivan Suryavanshi. Vera did not reject me at all. I never loved her. I was never in love with her. What? Are you serious? But I thought you loved Vera very much. Well, then you were wrong. It was a bet to make Vera fall in love with me, and I won it. What? What are you trying to say? It was just a silly bet? Oh, Mega. You don't know it, but Vera rejected me once as well. So my friends decided to challenge me. And you know that Vivan loves challenges. I took the challenge and in order to win the bet, Vera had to confess her love for me. Vera fell in love with me. And now I won the bet. What? How? How can you do that to her? Vera is very sensitive. You are disgusting, Vivan. Disgusting. You know me. 
How is it even possible that you couldn't figure it out? What made you honestly believe that I could ever fall in love with anyone? I'm sorry, Vivan, but I really am just so very ashamed of you. You played with her emotions just to win a silly bet with your silly friends, Vivan. Do you even know what love is? For goodness sake, Mega, I don't believe in love. You will believe in love. One day, one day you'll be betrayed, Vivan, and you will realize Vera's pain. Strange, very strange, that you are my friend. Yes, I am your friend, and that's why I can't ignore your mistake. Mega, listen, Me Girls are really too much. <laughs> oh my goodness.